Brett, yes. you want to tell us what's happening tonight at the public hearing, just so everybody's on board? Yes, uh, uh, this round, community block grant, in, in order to apply, cities have to hold a public hearing to get the input from the residents of what they feel would be good for the community. Um, it, uh, we could go through ineligible and eligible activities, trying to give the public a breakdown of what could be eligible to apply for. Um, grant are due with September 16th. You can apply for up to $150,000. Um, we've had good luck in the past um, for projects for the county. Uh, so just uh, answer any questions, get public input, take some minutes, which are needed for the application also. Uh, you sign take it. the minutes? I, I can't. I can't. I, can. I, I can compile them and work together. Um, okay. And sign a sheet and then we're, we're all good if we decide to apply. Okay. Very good. And that, be, that comes um, at the very beginning right after roll call. So we'll delay our meeting just a little bit, but uh, it is something that has to be in by the next week. Yeah, you have to have seven days before uh, the council. The, the, the legislation will be introduced on the third. Yes. Correct. So it's be seven. Yes. Yeah. Advertise seven days. Have public meeting seven days. Thank you. Uh, we do have uh, no agenda. We do have minutes uh, this afternoon, and I believe there was a uh, an amendment to the minutes as as corrected. Okay. And we do have several communications. Do we have any uh, any, uh, any uh, reports, committee reports, anything at all? No one had any. Mayor has given us a notice that he will be presenting his um, veto of ordinance 2014-47. So <coughs> as passed without his signature, but that one is off the uh, in existence anyway, so there's really nothing to repeal, isn't that correct? Because the charter says you have to have two-thirds of vote to pass right. a charter amendment, you know, it's four to three, that's not two-thirds, you right. need five, so what are you appealing, or repealing, right? There's nothing to repeal, because it failed. So this, should, this should be definitely um, it, it doesn't matter to me, but John was the one who, uh, I mean, if John wants to, John suggested So I don't know. It is right. They whatever they want to do. It is one. Go ahead. No, no, they found out. Did someone find out that we voted wrong? Yes, well they voted wrong, but 2014-65 to place it on the ballot only was passed with a 4-3 majority. Right. A two-thirds majority is required for a charter amendment to be submitted to the ballot. Therefore, it never received the two-thirds that it needed to be passed in the first place. So we didn't vote wrong. You didn't vote wrong. No. We just okay. didn't vote. Okay. Okay. You called it wrong. You called it wrong. Called it. Yeah. Right. And but no one noticed for two months. Right. Or somebody didn't, they didn't say anything. 
just assume that it's yeah. okay. So, uh, so right now it's not existing. Right. So that need to be on the agenda. Let's hear what John has to say as soon as he uh, arrives, because he was the one that uh, put this forward and wanted to reach you. Moving on to 214-66. not here to speak to this, but he wanted to uh, set aside the money from the camera to uh, hire building inspectors. And uh, this is going to be a first reading. This is them. Any thoughts on this? Go ahead. Uh, he says 2%. We don't really know how much we're going to get. Month by month, so forth, and the law is going to be changed. Uh, would two percent be enough to, to pay for building inspections? I mean, it seems like we're jumping the gun here. <clears throat> Money is there to be spent to do what you want to do. Good point. Tony, comment? I think we might need to um, just keep that money in the general fund. But if we were going to go ahead with this, I would not say sorry. People are listening. I would just say inspectors <coughs> be able to go out and then people that are hired by Rick now would also fulfill our contractual obligation. But I don't premature. Okay. Anthony, we're talking about the um, ordinance that you brought forward and we've already had two comments on. Do you want to speak to it? Uh, I think the first reading is fine. We need to put it in the or something. So wait until the previous reading. Any other commentary from the council? Can I ask Councilman Zephyrati, why are you um, pointing in on certified inspectors rather than, I mean, if we did have the choice and the liberty and the money was there, why would you um, prefer employees of OPIS or MBIS rather than just hiring somebody to drive around the city and, and just do the grass in place? Because that's where we're lacking. And it's sort of our contract is also lacking with MBIS. We were supposed to have so many people in the building department as part of their I understand, but I, I think it's more important to have the certified inspectors for businesses and for people who want to come into the city who need to have the electrical inspections, the plumbing inspections, and stuff like that. Um, the grass cutting and all that, yeah, that's fine. Um, I think we kind of have that under control with, you know, Daryl and the spreadsheet. And, you know, just as well as I do, every spring everything goes crazy, but once it starts settling down, you know, it just becomes a routine a process. I think we need to have the certified inspectors to start generating some at least revenue. And I think in the long run, they would be able to, like Gary used to in the tax department, be able to justify their own salaries. So it's, it's not a permanent funding. I'm sorry? <coughs> well, we only have one, as far as I'm concerned, we only have one certified inspector. He goes out on Fridays. All right, so we'll do a first reading for the well, end. That's not reading. true. No, no, no that's not accurate. We actually they they have hired um, pretty much everybody that we've laid off. So Mario works for them. Kevin works for them. Um, uh, Pinkney did work for them, but I think they fired him. Uh, Panishevitz works for him. Them. So they pretty much, you know, took everybody and they're, they're all working in the city all week long. They're crisscrossing the city all week long. But what they're doing, and I, I don't know if I'm hearing this right, but would this inspector work for them? They, they, we would pay well, that's them? that's what's up for discussion. It's okay. I would work for it, and that's why I said it for the committee the whole. Yeah, I, I just didn't understand the right. intent. That, but, okay, now I get it. But whatever they would do, you know, they would take 80% of that. Oh, I understand. So that doesn't leave us with much because my, and, and I think, you know, I don't want to speak for Councilwoman Jones, but when these guys are crisscrossing the city all day long and there's all these other complaints that are going on and we only have Daryl and 
you know, Daryl, then, you know, we have asked them to stop and take care of this, and they don't want to do that. So we have this problem with them where if they're inspecting it right across the street or next door is a major violation, they, they don't even cite it. They leave and go on to their next appointment because that's where the real cheesecake is. So that, that's the, the, the issue that's ongoing that we're having with them. Yeah, so that's fair enough. I mean, if, if council or everybody sees that it doesn't have to be a certified inspector, that's fine, but it's up for discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it in committee. I'll put it in committee in the whole. Is that the one you're yes, recommending? Please. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right. Just, um, I, I did skip the, um, the third reading, and I did want to share that with you, the rules of council. Uh, we need to table that again, perhaps the end of September. We have not had any opportunity at all to, to discuss it. We've been so busy with the financial issues. So I'm going to ask that we table that again. It's on third reading. There's no way that we should even think about passing it until we've had much more input. So that'll be a table. Oh, this, uh, the second reading uh, for 53, I'm sorry, I skipped that, uh, is uh, the $500 expense account. And that is on the second reading. Any comments on that one? Go to third. Alan? Yes. Okay. John, we had a, a question or two about the uh, there it is. Yeah. 2014 65. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, I, I don't know. He replaced my case. The amendment to reduce the council. I mean, it, technically, Mr. Brownlee pointed out that it, that it did not pass. So I, I don't know if it's a moot point, but to clarify the record, if you want to have another vote on it, I suppose it wouldn't hurt any, but it's probably unnecessary. <coughs> but, if you, if it, you know, if it makes you happy, you vote for it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... What do you mean it didn't pass? Uh, because it was uh, four to three, you have to, in order to do a charter amendment, you have to have two-thirds of the voters pass. So it would have been five-sevenths. I mean, five out of the stuff, and then we only have so it won't be on the ballot at all. Correct. <coughs> but unless somebody reintroduces it and passes it, but we won't have a meeting. We only have one meeting before that. But so there's no, there's no point, point in 65. Pardon? Right. There's no point in 65. Uh, is, is that the number? <coughs> yeah, uh, probably not. But if you want to just clarify the record for the, you know, just to show that. Uh, I mean, even if you want to make a motion to remove, I don't know. I would just, if you want to vote on it, vote on it. It's probably moot, but whatever. I mean, it, you know, whatever you, however you decide to proceed. Can you clarify fine. the record just because yeah, it's Yeah, it just clarifies that it failed. Just so if somebody looks back 20 years from now and see it passes, how come that didn't, uh, you know, how come it didn't go to the charter? You know, at least we'll have. Uh, well, we well, haven't approved the minutes yet. Well, that's a good point. Did, do you want to put that language in, in amend it then, that it didn't pass by two-thirds vote? Since you're so big on clarifying the record. And what, what do you mean in the minutes? In this ordinance, you should have a section in there that says oh, the prior it, ordinance didn't pass by two-thirds vote. To a yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you're trying to you know, cover your you-know-what. The, the, the ordinance was written before you and we can have a whereas the there that can't do it that didn't pass by two thirds. That's a good point. Maybe you ought to make it a first reading and amend it and bring it back. I don't know. Yeah, we can have a whereas clause that it didn't pass, and therefore that's why we're repealing it, just to explain it to people more clearly. Has what it to, gone? Or to if you want to withdraw it, yet? <clears throat> has it gone to the board of elections? Yet? No, so we, we we haven't got that far yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Actually, she did take the other piece down just now when she went to drop the signatures off the other day. Mm -hmm. Edwina, your comment. Just let's withdraw. Withdraw totally. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank and, then, and then I think that's a good point. Put it in the minutes that it, it did not pass. Mm -hmm. That would be good. I good told you. Okay. Moving on to 214-67. These are the boarding up of houses. <laughs> did everyone get those uh, over, me that, that over the internet? So you got the same list. Um, this has already been done. Uh, we can do a first reading on it, or we can never make sure. 
Okay. And the garbage gates are seven. Regarding 2014 Correct. 70. Yes. Go ahead. With the uh, garbage and rubbish collection, there is there was a reduction in the service. Yet there's no reduction here. In fact, it's exactly the same as last year, and I believe even the year before that. Uh, Mr. Mayor, what is um what calculation did the finance director use to calculate how much it would cost the residents? Can you be more specific? What do you mean, what calculation? There's a, a calculation outlined in our codified ordinances that spells out exactly how this fee is to be figured year to year. And if there's an overage or we're behind in this fund, it's adjusted so that next year we uh, estimate to fix whatever overage or deficit that we might have. So was that was that followed? Is that how we came to this here? I I believe so, but you know you'll have to ask her when she comes out. I think she's making copies, but um, it's done as it was done in the past. I mean we have so many homes, as you know, in the city that that we pick up, and the county knows who's on the homestead and who isn't. Waste management bills us for a certain amount of homes, which we've gone back and forth with them, you know, whether or not they're charging us for people that don't live in a house. We think we we got that finally cleared up now. So, but I'll, I'll let why don't you ask Irene read that specific question? Ms. Finance Director. Yes, sir. We have uh, before us 2014-70 the garbage and rubbish collection. Yeah. We're going to assess that for next year, and. I wanted to know if section uh, 1060.02 was followed, the calculation that's listed there in our codified ordinances, if that was followed in calculating the $15.750 for each residential unit. We are going to follow that with the process, excuse me, of finishing up the assessments. Uh, my projection that was based on the current year expenses and all that that amount was enough to cover based on where we are this year. We're <clears throat> talking to Vince Crawford. There didn't seem to be a big change in terms of the number of residents. So I felt that using the same projection because it would cover. So I wanted to ensure that we could cover it. Is it doing an actual listing uh, probably in the next, <clears throat> next week sometime we could in the audits. So the calculation in the section outlined was not the calculation followed to come up with these numbers? The actual calculation per that has not been <coughs> done. Like I say, it was an estimate. We reviewed that calculation of how we could prepare for that. And also, the essence that we were to cover the expenses the projection was made. Is this uh, amount 15 and 750 going to provide for the $200,000 that we plan in our fiscal plan to uh, transfer to the general fund? That's our hope, but that's why like I said, we kept it at the same amount, <coughs> excuse me, so that we could cover the bills. Mm -hmm. And of course, the 200000 that we have in the plan is based on whether we have a residual, it could be less or more, mm -hmm. and of course, of uh, this body's approval. So. I mean, we have um, explanations or assessments from uh, the building, the boarding of the houses, and the criminal nuisance, and we can clearly pass those tonight. Did you want us, or did council want to, I mean, to wait for other assessment numbers before we pass the rest of them? I'm not sure what you can do customarily. I don't see a need. They're all standalone, so it's up to the body. I think they're not contingent is. upon each other. But the grass cutting needs to be uh, right. We well. have to do the grass cutting, which is almost finished. Like I said, our priority for the last month and a half has been to be our right. August 31st deadline for the audits. So we all have been working on that very quickly in the people space to get the audit done. So we're almost there. Okay. So 69, we agreed with uh, the weeds and high grass. And we will going to suspend the rules on that as well, Council. I don't want to. Okay. Mr. Chair? Yes. Right. As we're looking at the criminal use of the assessments, um, there's two points of data I'd like to bring up. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. 
There's two points I'd like to bring about criminal nuisance rate of the assessment. Okay. One of them is that the, the property is a 2011 Claire, 20008 Claire. Uh, if Mr. Cadell's family is familiar with this. Um, there, it's my understanding at least that they're in the process of potentially being sold uh, at this time. And they're supposed to be, uh, the deal is supposed to run, heard from that person in charge, is supposed to be closed closed out on September 1st, or in other words, it'll either be sold by September 1st or on the line. In which case, if council were to pass an assessment on that, may negatively impact the sale of that property because it would be a lien against it. Um, secondly, looking at two other ones, specifically from 15755 Broadway and uh, 16941 Broadway, I'm not sure if that's correct or not. And Ms. Crawl and I know we entered into an agreement with the property 15755, and that would be the uh, Maple Leaf Tavern. I'm not sure if that number is accurate or not. And, and Krieger Properties, I believe, have been forgiven. I'm not sure if that's still the same number or not. Okay. So what you're asking for is a first reading? I would ask for a first reading. I'm still going to review those figures. That's I didn't take an assessment on something. It's not going to negatively affect the finances. Okay. And, Jeff? Um, yes, Jeff. Wait. 
<coughs> Any other comments? Wait. Yes. Tony, can I ask uh, a finance director a question about the employers? Okay. As part of the <coughs> as part of the collection that we get from the um, garbage, does that also go toward um, supplementing the service department and maybe possibly some of the employees that have to go back to pick up garbage that's left maybe on a weekend where there is no pickup, as well as the numerous calls coming through the service department? Are they supplemented by this one? Uh, that's the goal because in the past it was so in the budget the plan we did put a certain portion for Tanya Black from the service because also there's other administrative costs <coughs> that's involved with that you know you receive telephone calls complaints so someone has to answer the telephone or as you say service whatever complaints or additional work so it's not just a direct uh, money to waste management, there's other dollars and other needs for that, those funds. Is that answer your question? Okay, so we'll put that on the first reading and hopefully we'll, we'll be passing that on the third. Um, Tom, did you have a comment? I was just going to say, we should, we will we'll have to pass them on the third Absolutely. probably to get downtown. Absolutely. Okay. Would you turn to your expenditures <coughs> over a thousand dollars, please? Any comments or questions for our meeting? question for Irene. Irene, can you explain what is the upgrade to the silver support package? What is the silver support package? What is that? That's basically our computer system. As we have spoken, you know, there's a narrow need of upgrading um, the contract and also the service. There's like three different levels for the SSI. Uh, we had the very lowest, which required us for every service call, pretty much, that we would have to pay any training or you know technical assistance to a certain level and it really did not suffice it was cheaper more economical for us to upgrade to the silver and of course the one above that is the gold which i feel is extravagant but this would allow us more training and technical assistance then also you know we're going to need to do some overhaul on that uh, system just to generate custom reports that we're asked for and like that all of that would be under this contract which we currently don't have the provisions for. How long, what is the length of the contract? They're annual. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, Roger? Uh, regarding 2014-72, the first one, repair of salt truck 106, uh, what did that entail? Uh, actually, you'll have, I don't have any particular specs, you'll have to ask the service director. But I mean, I just know that it's repaired. I Why can't say whether it needs an engine or what it needs. Why is it list emergency underneath? Because it's not working and they need to get it in service, so that's why you list it as emergency. And I'm not sure how readily these parts, I know some equipment, the parts have to be ordered and what have you, so. Some of these bills may be, you know, more than 120 days do you know, we're sort of going, I don't know, I'm just guessing, I don't know for a fact, but I mean. Well, this isn't a bill, this is a PO request oh, okay. that he wants to, I guess, get the equipment fixed. And he's, he's anticipating getting ready, we talked about salt, you know, and right. he's anticipating coming up, the snow's going to be flying before you know it. Thank well, you, Tony. Well, we could ask him to have him send a response. I mean, okay. All right, any other comments, questions? I'm a little confused. Um, I have I have two things to uh, to mention to you, and I will announce it at the meeting as well. Uh, in the uh, community forum that we talked about doing, I, I know you had asked for uh, some uh, forums so that we could have input from the residents, and I did schedule three different forums at the uh, library. I did get that email out to all of you. Well, since the uh, camera forum was, was held in District uh, 5, I don't, don't see a need for us to do that on August 27th, which is next Wednesday. Instead, I would like to do a work session for that night over at City Hall 
and actually do some strategy and some uh, actual work input to uh, support and to uh, produce information for the levy. Now that would that would be the people who are planning on voting for the levy and participating in all of that. Um, it's a work session, so you don't have to come if um, if you are not on board. Um, so what date is that? It would be next Wednesday on the 27th over at City Hall. Jackie, don't you have a date with you at the library, though, too, the 27th? Has that been advertised? No. No. I mentioned it, what, two and a half months ago, so two months ago, so no. I'll take it off as soon as I can. We will, we will uh, retain the uh, September t um, 23rd form. And at that point, we will have information ready for residents and hopefully folks that will participate in getting the word out at that one. October 6 p.m., right? 27 to 6. Okay. And uh, the only other thing I need to mention to you is that NOCA is providing a uh, forum with um, Ed Schron and um, Mr. Budish who are running for county council, and that will be on September 18th over at the Double Tree, I believe. And all of you are welcome to attend. That would be interesting. Is that Double Tree? Yes. Embassy. Yes. Double Tree Embassy? No, it's not the Embassy. It's Double Tree up on the hill. Okay, any other comments, yeah, questions? Just yes. To clarify, you're actually canceling yes. Monday's meeting that you Monday? Okay. 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 Okay.